Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to dual boot into macOS Sonoma. So this is going to be really useful if you want to preserve your data. So if you want to preserve everything you've got on macOS Ventura, but you want to try out the macOS Sonoma beta, then we can have both installed on your internal drive on your Mac. And you can experiment with the macOS Sonoma features and also things like game porting toolkit. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. So just a word of warning, first of all, if you're installing a beta product, make sure to do a full backup of all of your data. Having a backup is always a good idea. So we're gonna to go to the Mr. Macintosh website, which I'll leave a link to in the description, and you can click on Sonoma installer section here. Then we can download the full Sonoma installer. So at the time of recording, we can only download the developer beta. So we're gonna download this version here. This is the latest at the time of recording. If you're watching this in the future, you might be using this one, which is the full final installer. Now we're gonna click install assistant.pkg and I'm gonna let this download, it's 12 gigabytes in size. So whilst we're doing that, we're gonna prepare our disk. So I'm gonna to go to Spotlight here and then type in disk and then open up the disk utility. And here we can see all of our devices. If you can't see this list, you might need to toggle on all devices. And basically we have what's called a container on our APFS drive. So if you're using Apple Silicon Mac, your solid state drive is configured as an APFS drive. And we have this container here. What you ideally wanna do is to create another volume here. So that it sits beside here so that the disk can share space. And so just gonna show you an example. I'm gonna select container disk three, and press plus volume here. Then we're just gonna call this one Sonoma, press add, and then we've added the APFS volume. So that means that if I look at the partition structure, Macintosh HD and Sonoma both occupy a maximum space of 995 gigabytes, but it's actually shared between both of them. So if I use more space on Sonoma, then that's gonna reduce space that's available for the Macintosh HD and vice versa. So this is pretty much the most efficient way to do this. And so I'm gonna be installing macOS Sonoma into here so I can dual boot into this operating system. So once the install assistant package has downloaded, we're gonna to go to Finder, go to our downloads folder and double click this. So here it's saying, do we wanna install our Macintosh HD? Actually change location. I'm gonna select the new Sonoma volume that we just created. You might notice that they both say that they have one terabyte of space. That's because this space is shared. Then press the continue button and then press install. So this is just installing the operating system file. Just press install software press close here. And then what we're gonna find is that within our applications folder, if we scroll down, we're gonna find install macOS 14 beta. So that's what we want to double click on and then continue the process of installing. So here we're gonna press continue and then agree and then agree. And what we wanna do is to install on our second partition. So we've clicked that button and then we're gonna install this on the Sonoma volume. Press continue. Here we're gonna select our user. I wanna be copying account settings from my local account here. Press install, and press unlock. So just let that download and complete and it's gonna restart. Then we're gonna continue on to the next step. So once the download's finished, we can go ahead and press the restart button and we'll be restarting into macOS Sonoma. And now here we can see the new login screen. We've got the old macOS Ventura wallpaper, but we can go ahead and log in. Password field has moved down here. Just type in your password and then go in to the new macOS Sonoma. Here you can see the wallpaper is automatically changed. All we have to do is click continue to go into the actual operating system itself. Here we have macOS Sonoma installed on my MacBook Air with the M1 chip. You know, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. If we go to our finder in Sonoma and then we look at locations, we can see here we've got Macintosh HD here. So if you look at disk utility, we can see that we're on this Sonoma volume here and we can also see our old library here. So if I go to here, this has got all of my old stuff here. However, if I go to my fresh computer here on Sonoma, this is like a fresh install. If you wanna switch easily between partitions, all you gotta do is go to settings, go to general, and then click on startup disk here. And then you can choose whether you want to restart into the original Macintosh HD or the Sonoma beta, which you've installed. And I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.